Hey guys, RC here, back with Graveyard Keeper. Uh, so last episode we uh, built the sawmill, and I need to get a zombie for that. But let's talk to the bishop here, because it is uh, Sunday, or whatever we're calling it. Uh, let's trade our bread, all of it. That'll pick up uh, a silver from him. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and do our sermon for the day. I've already picked up the prayer. And then we'll go look at a couple of things downstairs real quick. Just, uh, you know, things that we need to start kind of working on and planning for. We really need to upgrade our prayer. I would have liked to have done this sooner. But is what it is. All right, so we'll get our sixth faith for the week here. And just again, that's so important that we need that faith for everything from research to, you know, just everything. Uh, making zombies, it takes 10 per zombie. All right, let's go do our collection. We got 356 this week. All right, I need to d run down into the basement anyway because we need to find the I need to find where I've got my resurrection stuff. There it is. I only need one of those. So we're gonna take one. All right, so before we head down to the morgue or up into the... Actually, we need to go into the graveyard first. But I wanted to kind of just jump in here real quick. So that bucket of blood, we can actually create that uh, with blood and filch, which is easy enough. Blood you're harvesting from the corpses. Uh, we need to work on being able to make ink and pen and paper. Uh, this is where we can take our fat and then beeswax, which we have, and hemp rope, which we can make out of the hemp that we grow. And we can make candles, different level candles, uh, and they have different requirements. This takes white paint for both of these. So this is the easiest one is a basic candle. So we can make some of those, put in the can into the candelabras for more light. And then you have lye and acid i wonder if that's the acid he wants this says it's an acid no this is the injection so a zombie alchemy workbench alchemy workbench two do i have an alchemy bench that's a desk all right, well, at the desk, you can see that we have that ruined book. We have four of them. We can put river sand with that to make clean paper. And then we can take these stories and clean paper plus pen and ink to either make notes. We can take notes to make chapters. And then here's the prayers. We need a chapter plus faith to get a new prayer. And we would like maybe the combo prayer. So we need a book for that. So, you know, just, you know, things that we've got to work on building and expanding. So I want to pop out here. Because I want to get a zombie, I think, for the sawmill that we just built. All right. Now, this one, I've already taken off the fencing. And... I'm going to go ahead and exhume him. So we're, we have the, uh, the injection. Oh, crud. Do I have? No. We'll go through the church. I've got to pick up a few more faith because we need 10 of those, remember? Uh, can I not bring him down here? Uh, let's grab all those. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was like, why can't I get through? You have to be right up on it, I guess. All 
All right, let's take the bat. And the blood. And then we, w oh, we want to come over here and we want to resurrect him. And there's our resurrection. Now he's not alive, he's a, uh, but now he's a zombie. Problem I've got is I don't want to. Uh, it's nighttime, and I don't want to go up through that area. Now, zombies are, are dead. That You can leave them laying around. So I tell you what, let's go sleep real quick. All right. Gather the rest of our bread. We'll grab him. It's probably still too early. Oh, you know what? I tell you what, we can take a little more time. Let's come down here, and I need to make another axe anyway, because the axe we just made last episode went to build the sawmill, so I need my own axe anyway. So, there we go. Now, I may not need to cut down trees anymore. Well, yeah, I will, because I'll need to clear out the graveyard. Hopefully these uh, bats are gone. If not, I'll have to drop this guy and fight. Yeah, there's none here, so we should be okay. And that zombie just steady works, boy. All right, there we go. So we're going to put him in here. Now, I don't know if I need to add another zombie in here or not. Yeah, so it comes with the porter station. So I've got to put another porter in here. I don't think that porter that I've got, because I think each porter station is self-contained. So, all right, let's go down here, because I did buy those bees. So I need four, six, and ten. So let me grab those. Four filch. And now I don't remember what it was. Was it six simple or six nails? We'll bring a little bit of everything. <laughs> just to make sure. Alright. There's three filch. And I think I stored some in here. All right, parts, nails, bees. Let me make one more set of filch to have enough. All right, we'll head back up there. Just out of curiosity, does that open up a new area? No, not yet. Or it doesn't, one way or the other. It's not too far away. So, you know, now we're starting the process of automation, right? We've got the sawmill going in. All right, there's a beehive. We will build that. Those are kind of small, aren't they? Not sure. All right, let's build this up. All right, so we have our own apiary now. So I guess while we're here, we'll clear out some of this stuff. Not that we need it, but it is what it is. See, I don't even know if we need this wood. But... Oh. And we'll push this all the way out. And then down. All right, so we need to get another zombie. Now, the problem is, I don't know how to make more resurrection stuff. 
So we we need to figure that out. And what that means is we may be having to use our faith to do a lot more research in the short term. Uh, let's see. All right, parts, nails, rock, filch, sticks. I believe. Yeah, we've got one wood here. We'll do that, and we've got a cross. Do I have how much of this do I have? Um, let's let's go ahead and knock this out. All right, that has taken care of that. We'll drop that and the firewood. So I am going to add, I'm going to add the firewood. And then we can bump this. So we'll be able to knock out half of that. Now you can always build a second smelter and it may not be a bad idea, but now we've opened up um, ore for more ore to be brought. Now I could go up there, dig the ore myself, stick it in the thing and the porter will bring it, but I can also set the other zombie uh, for, for the mining him for, to do a mining thing as well. But we're kind of at a catch 22 of uh, not having the resources to do all that ourselves. So, uh oh, not enough. Uh, three and two, nope. right so crop waste seeds all right so let's go ahead and drop this off down here I do need to bring some more Of the fertilizer up to the area up there so we're gonna drop the crop waste I am going to take um, let's take 45 of these I think that's good I think you really have to be pretty organized to play this game and I have to be so organized with my real-life job I don't like being organized <laughs> when I'm playing. It's almost like work. All right, we're going to drop that. All right. So let's go see if we can get some more grapes going for wine. That'll be down in the basement, of course. So let's drop these. So what do we got? We got 30... 30 silver. And we can make two batches. All right. That means we can actually get one to fermenting as well. So we'll pop that. Get that working. And then we'll have one, one of each silver. And we can get that crafting. All right. Let's see. I wonder if we try to... All right, we've got nine. I want to keep those. 
And we've only got one bucket of each. One pail, I'm sorry. So, yeah, we'll leave that. We do have all the bread coming in here. But I'm going to need about another stack of that. That'll work. And we can also cook. We can get an hour out of that. I've got eight carrots there. I got 34. Let's grab 10. And then we'll go put these down at the at for another corpse down here. All right, so we'll stock those. And let's buy another exhumation. And let's look around in here. I want I want one that's kind of like really crappy. And it would more than likely be one of the first ones that we had, but not necessarily. All right, so he's only got four, but he is a perfect one. Um, he's got some rot, but we made him okay. But that might be one we want to dig out and and burn. All right, tell you what, let's remove that. And then put on a new one there. Two, three. And remove that one. I think I'm going to go ahead and exhume this one. All right. I don't have. I, oh, we can pick up uh, another faith here, right? There we are. Good. I may not have enough faith for this. I just thought about that. I've only got. Uh, yeah, I've only got three on me. Shoot. All right. Then we're going to use this one as a resource body. Because I don't have the faith to... All right, so we're going to take flesh. Because we're going to need meat for burgers. We'll take the fat for candles. Uh, we'll do a blood. Actually, he's he's a perfect body now. What what did I do right? Well, my goodness, we may go bury this one back. So I can't. I don't have the faith. Let me store my prayer. I've got three faiths. So we've got two weeks before I'll have enough to do another zombie. And that's not doing any research. So again, you can see it 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 goes fast. All right, and then we will put in some of the nicer quality stuff here. And that becomes a plus 5. So we're up to 96. I wonder, let's see. We can fix the fence now, and you can see we can also put in a lawn, which instead of a flower bed, will be plus four. And that takes six pieces of stone. I'm also going to need a lot more peat over here, so maybe we'll grab some of that. And I might, I might need to build another, uh, whatever these are called. I might need to build another one of these. Hmm. So 
Yeah, I've only got a hundred. So I'm going to take that. We did have the donkey coming in. Let me come up here and make some firewood real quick with some of the scrap that we've got. And that was it. And we can store that. And we can store that. Let's go ahead and pop down into the morgue here. So you do, you know, you do want to keep the bodies coming, even if you're just cremating them and not adding to the to the cemetery. But you know, we also need to work on getting our cemetery points up. So let's check the body out. Well, you know what? We got three out last time, so let's do it in the same order. Okay, that wasn't good. Because somehow or other, we benefited last time. So that's only going to be a plus three body. I don't think that's going to be good enough for us. So we are going to burn this one. Oops. I pulled out too fast. All right, so we can now build... A new one of these. Set it up. And this should be done in just a second. There we are. And we can build one more. And I need to get some more, um, just a resupply of that. What can we build here? Oh, berry bushes and apple trees. Down the road, I suppose. Uh, let's see. I would like... Oh, I know what it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... 8, 16, 24... Let's go ahead and build 32. Uh-oh, I am... Bull. What do I want to drop off here? Let me drop off that and oh, that's right, the peat, and I've got salt. I can dump that in here real quick. There and there. We'll pick up the rest of uh, of that which we got. All right, let's head back down here. We are tired, so we're going to try to get uh, to the end of the episode, though. All right, we built that one up. We will drop off. Oh, oops, not that. And we'll take that with us. I need to make another chisel so I can make polished stone back at uh, at our house. That one I want to get rid of. I think everything's good there. So we'll pop into the church, cut through here. And we've got that I can take the salt out of there hmm uh, let's take the bread and I can put the fat okay so the fat only stacks up to 30 so I'm gonna have to start making some stuff because I'm just getting too much too much all right we do have some more wine. I'm going to go ahead and drop that. Actually, let's take uh, let's take a stack of that. Let's take a stack of 20. Let's run over to the village real quick 
I'm wondering how much that sells for. Yeah, just wanted to make sure it was in my inventory. We've also got a couple of burial certificates. All right, so we'll trade. Let's do both of those. All right, and a stack of that, that's 19. That's actually a nice little income. Bam. All right. Um, so that gives us 28. Oh, what about... Oh, man. So I need 30. I'm a little short. Oh, shoot. Can I sell you that? 30. All right, good. Who could help me build a tavern? Corey and his brother Tress. All right, hire Corey to build a tavern. All right, Corey. Corey and Tress are the stone and wood guys. Don't remember which one's which. I could look it up on the NPCs, or I could just walk up here. That's Tress, so Corey's the wood guy. There he is. I can become your supplier. 12 simple iron parts and 12 planks. Oh, and 12 nails, of course. <laughs> All right, well, that's fine. That's actually not bad. I wonder if I can, can I do it? anything in there? Not sure. Uh, today is, it's not merchant day because I do want to buy some more grape seeds, but I just spent all my money. Boy, money go hard to get, easy to spend, just like real life. All right, I tell you what, I am going to, let's head out here. And, all right, we need Corey. Where are you? There you are. All right, so 12 simple iron parts, 12 planks. All right, so there's all my simple iron parts. There's nails. And I had some planks somewhere. There they are. All right. So, I need six more planks, and I'm out of wood, so that's a problem. All right, six of those. Twelve nails I think I already had, and twelve simple iron parts. So, I've got everything, so let's go see what that does for us. Might have wanted to have thought about where I put that before it blocked my path getting out of here. <laughs> Min-maxing is not uh, the thing I'm best at. Just in case you weren't aware of that. Just saying. Alright, so there's Corey. All right, here's your iron parts. There's your planks. And your nails. Wait for me tomorrow. Okay, well, we'll come back tomorrow after we sleep. 
And that is the Arrow Up Day, which is the Inquisitor. I don't have anything ready for him yet, so... Oh my god, alright. We've got to get over to the morgue real quick. At least pick the body up till in the morning. There goes Snake. So even though we need to go to bed, at least make the run over, pick up the body, and get it on a pallet or on your table, just so it doesn't start to rot. We'll take a gander at it. Um, yeah, I, and I need to figure out, I'm, there's got to be ways to get rid of the red, one of the red skulls to make it a perfect one, right? But now we want to start looking at the six and, you know, plus six, plus seven bodies, if we can. So we'll leave him there. We'll deal with that tomorrow. We, we're, we're two weeks away from being able to make another zombie. So not a rush for that. So either burying them or letting, you know, burning them, one of the two. All right, guys, well, let's put a break there, and uh, I will kind of move ahead a little bit. I don't think you need to see me talking to him about the tavern, but we'll see about getting the tavern started and going from there. Hit that like button for me, subscribe if you're new, and let me know down in the comments if you want to see more of this and what you think about what's going on. Take care. Bye.